What's up guys? How's it going? It has been a hot minute and by a minute I mean an entire year has gone by but we're here now, we're filming, we're gonna get this done. Today we're talking about nutrition labels and why nutrition labels are so important. So what are nutrition labels? Nutrition labels are basically, can I say nutrition labels anymore? Alright, so they're basically those little boxes behind uh, packaged food items that tell you what the nutrition on that product is, what the macronut macronutrient profile is. Uh, why they're important is basically, you know when you walk into a store and you're gonna buy a product and you check the price tag to see whether or not something fits your budget, a nutrition label will tell you whether something or not fits your calorie budget and it's important because you'll understand whether something fits your goals or not and it'll also help you um, outsmarting marketing gimmicks that tell you that something is diet friendly when in reality it probably really isn't things that don't have nutrition info on them already are things like fruits vegetables sometimes even meat eggs and spices so on most all packaged food items like this one come with nutrition info listed on the packaging itself and what we're very quickly going to do is get into it so i can teach you how to decipher a nutrition label so what you have in front of you is an example of what a typical nutrition label looks like this is the label on the thai red curry paste we just saw and i've chosen this because it's pretty much a blank label the first thing to check is the serving size this is extremely important because sometimes you may grab something like a chocolate or energy bar and assume that the nutrition facts given are for the entire bar, when in reality, the bar may be two or more serving sizes. Nutrition facts given on the product are for the mentioned serving size. Sometimes you'll see information given for 100 grams and for the recommended serving as well. Next, of course, is the total calories. The total calories are calculated based on the amount of macronutrients in the food item. Macronutrients are as the name suggests, nutrients required in larger quantities in the diet, as opposed to micronutrients like vitamins and minerals. Macronutrients are namely fats, protein and carbohydrates, which we're going to call carbs from now on. Below this, you'll see how many grams of fat, carbs and protein one serving size contains. Fat is calculated at 9 calories per gram, making it the most calorie dense macronutrient while carbs and protein are at 4 calories per gram. Which is why you'll notice that most food items that are high fat are also generally more calorie dense, aka higher calorie. For all purposes, just glancing over these 3 or 4 numbers is usually more than enough. For those interested, you can also check how much sodium and sugar one serving contains. If you're conscious about how much sugar you consume, it's always good to remember that 1 teaspoon is about 4 grams. So if a food item contains 20 grams of sugar, that's about 5 teaspoons per serving. These are the very basics you should know about reading a nutrition label. I also thought I'd quickly go over the ingredients list on a packaged or processed food item. Here are a few examples of ingredient lists on different products. The ingredients are always listed in descending order. That means that the first item listed in the list is what is the most prominent ingredient and the last item is what is the least. So now that you've learned how to read a nutrition label, it looks like Grocery Sheena needs our help figuring out which coconut milk to use for her recipe. Let's help her decide between the two. So what we have here are two different types of coconut milk from the same brand. On your left in the black can is your regular coconut milk and on the right in the white can is a light or low fat coconut milk. So let's start by looking at the serving size for both. The serving size given for both of them is 90 grams. Let's come to the calories. The calories for the regular coconut milk is 170 calories for 90 grams. And for the light coconut milk, it's 50 calories for 90 grams. So as we can see, there's a big difference in the calories here. The calories of the regular coconut milk are three and a half times more than that of the light coconut milk. Let's find out why. For the regular coconut milk, the total fat is 17 grams, whereas the total fat for the light coconut milk is only 5 grams. And of course, we're expecting that because it is a lower fat coconut milk. Now, the carbs in both of them are almost similar. The carbs in the regular coconut milk are 2 grams and the carbs in the light coconut milk is 1 gram. The same with the protein. The protein in both of them is almost similar as well. In the regular coconut milk, the protein is 1 gram and in the light coconut milk, the protein is under 1 gram. So almost the same. 
So as we can see, the big difference is in the total fat content and that is expected. Now, obviously, the taste and the thickness and consistency of both of these will be different. So it does depend on what you're cooking. But overall, if you're somebody that is looking at lowering your fat consumption or lowering your calories, if you're somebody that is trying to lose weight, this comes in handy because you can look at the nutrition label and compare the two to find the one that fits your goals. So I hope this was helpful to some of you and I hope that it changes the way you shop for groceries. Spend a little bit extra time looking at food packaging to figure out whether something or not fits your goals. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you've learned something today. We're gonna keep doing a lot of these informative uh, style videos. Also a few vlogs about my journey, where I am now, what I plan on doing, what I've been doing for that past one year. Follow me on Instagram where I'm 100% more active and you'll be able to see updates from me constantly. All right, see you in the next one, folks. Bye.